Today you're going to learn how to make a refreshing lychee cucumber fruit tea from syrup. This refreshing lychee cucumber fruit tea is a delicious option to add to your bubble tea shop's menu. It's super easy to make and offers a unique gradient of color. It's also an excellent choice for marketing for that viral social media image. The final volume of the drink today will be approximately 350 milliliters or 12 ounces. And I'll be sure to put conversions in the description below. So let's get started. If you own a bubble tea shop, then you probably already have a large batch of green tea pre-brewed using loose leaf green tea. But if you'd like to learn more about that, I'll go ahead and put a card up here with a link to my video where I show you how to brew a large batch of green tea. And I'll also put it in the description. If that applies to you, then you can go ahead and skip to the next step. But if you're making this at home and you just wanna make a small quantity of green tea for a single drink, then stick around. This recipe calls for 170 milliliters of pre-brewed green tea. So today we're going to measure out 175 milliliters of the hot water, which needs to be 70 degrees Celsius. A little bit of the volume of that will be absorbed into the tea leaves, which is why the measurement is slightly over. So because that temperature is running just a tad hot, I'm gonna wait a minute for it to cool off and in the meantime, I'm going to measure in my tea leaves. We're going to measure in one tablespoon of the loose leaf jasmine green tea. If you don't have loose leaf, then two or more tea bags will work just fine. And if you don't have jasmine green tea, just normal green tea, that's fine also. I just tend to prefer the jasmine green tea because it gives a nice floral flavor when you're actually drinking the beverage and it really adds to the enjoyment of it. Okay, that's fine. We're at 69 degrees Celsius. And I would rather it be 69 or 70 as opposed to being over. And the reason for that simply being that we don't wanna scald the leaves. So definitely make sure that when you brew green tea, it is at the correct temperature range. Okay, and we're gonna set a timer for seven minutes. This one's really easy to remember. It's 170, 70 degrees Celsius for seven minutes. Can't get much easier than that. Okay, and now we're going to start assembling our drink. This first step is the easiest. It's using my recipe for a lychee fruit tea. We'll be putting 21 milliliters of lychee syrup into our shaker. If you have a bubble tea shop and you have pumps on your lychee syrup, it tends to be about seven milliliters per pump. So therefore, you would be doing three pumps. So we'll put the 21 milliliters of the lychee syrup into our shaker followed by seven milliliters of fructose syrup, or alternatively, one teaspoon of fructose powder. If you find that your syrups are super, super sweet with the end result, then go ahead and omit this step. But I know with the syrups that I'm using today, especially including the cucumber syrup in it, that I will be needing one teaspoon of the fructose powder, which I have right here. So I'm going to put in one teaspoon of the fructose powder. When your green tea is ready, go ahead and strain it into your shaker and stir until combined. And again, if your tea is pre-brewed, then you will be putting in 170 milliliters of the warm green tea. Next, we're going to fill our shaker all the way to the top with ice. Put on the middle lid and the top lid and shake really well for one minute. We know the drink is ready when there's a really nice condensation around the outside of the shaker and majority of the ice has melted. While your fruit tea is shaking, we're going to combine a little bit of water into our cucumber syrup. I've got 14 milliliters of the cucumber syrup, which should be about two pumps, and then 10 milliliters of just normal room temperature water. We're going to pour the water into the cucumber syrup and give it a really quick stir. Strain the lychee fruit tea into your glass and be sure to leave a little bit of headroom on the top so that way you'll be able to pour in your cucumber mixture. I'm going to add in a scoop of lychee juice balls, and as you can see, they float right on top of the cucumber. And if you have juice balls with a green color, those would work really nicely as well because it would add to the layered effect. All right, let's give it a try. So be sure to stir it really well before you drink it, or if you have a seal on top, give it a quick shake, and let's see how it tastes. Cheers. 
Mm. So, so good. Really, really nice, ice cold, refreshing. You have that lychee flavor, which is just so sweet. And then it gets a little bit of the cucumber in there, just enough so that way you actually can taste it. And you might think off the top of your head, I'm not gonna mix lychee and cucumber together, but no, no, believe me, they are a really good match. A delicious and refreshing ice cold bubble tea combination. Well, I hope you've enjoyed my unique one-of-a-kind recipe today, and I look forward to seeing you again soon. Take care.